So a bolt here, I'm pretty sure has a pituitary tumor, uh, which is a tumor in uh, the brain on the pituitary gland. When he walks around, he kind of doesn't have a purpose. He just aimlessly walks around. He does a lot of circling. Um, sometimes when I pet his head, I don't think it happens every time, but sometimes when I pet his head, he pushes his head up, which I've been doing some research, and that's one of the signs uh, among the other things that I've listed. You can see as he eats, he kind of holds his hands close to the floor. So he does have troubles with holding his food. He can still hold his food. Sometimes rats with a pituitary uh, tumor can't hold their food at all. And if another rat comes up to him while he's eating, he doesn't even try to stop the other rat from grabbing his food. Which right now they're probably not going to do because I scattered a bunch of food on the floor. And if you look at his eyes, you can tell that he's, he's not quite okay compared to the eyes of, like here's Theodore how big his eyes are. There's Nero. Look how big his eyes are. When you look at Bolt, you can tell that something's wrong. Usually when they squint their eyes like that, it's because they're in pain. I don't have any indication that he's in pain other than his eyes like that, so I don't know if there's another reason. Bolt is a year and he's almost eight months old. So he is, he is up there in age. These tumors are more common in female rats than they are in male rats, but obviously males can get them too. And Bolt is just one of those rats. So I'm going to have to be thinking about quality of life. And uh, sadly, I'm probably going to have to make the choice to get him put to sleep. I just, I don't think he's happy anymore. And it's hard to tell how much he is suffering, if at all, but I don't, I don't think it's probably worth it for him to, to keep going. I guess that's all for my update on Bolt. Um, you likely will not be seeing him in 
another uh, cage tour or if you do see him you probably won't see him for too much longer. I haven't 100% made a decision yet but I'm pretty sure that I know what I want to do. Alright, well, I'll see you guys next time.